Hello and welcome to a series of videos about EcoStructure GeoSCADA Expert. GeoSCADA Expert is the remote SCADA and telemetry software product from Schneider Electric. My name is Steve and I'm going to review the new features we added in 2022 and 2023. This will be an overview and we can look into more detail in future videos. We are immensely proud of the position that GeoSCADA Expert has in mission critical remote control applications. Our experience has seen us develop the product and add innovative features for the 21st century. GeoSCADA Expert's philosophy has always been to keep operations running because managing remote operations is a process of continuous change. GeoSCADA has unrivaled features for live configuration change and for upgrades while running, including those changes which affect database structures or templates. Other SCADA software will need restarting for all kinds of reasons, and that downtime will cost money. Our commitment to continuous operations runs through our new features in 2022 and 2023, with our focus on integration and security. Let's look at some of these features. OPC UA allows device and inter-system communications using open standards. In GeoSCADA 2022, we added an OPC UA server, and we've added an OPC UA driver in the previous release. This new server lets you see all real-time and configuration tags. You can configure the UA server through the server configuration tool, setting up security parameters. To do this, go to the global parameters page and select the OPC UA and PCS service node. Here are the settings for the OPC UA name and port. Enable the server, and if you want to use GeoSCADA usernames and passwords as credentials, then deselect anonymous access. You may also wish to disable encryption for trials until you set up certificate-based security later. Here's an example sequence showing the items needed to set up GeoSCADA to read a points value from another system. Create and select a server and add a host name and port. The letters OPC, .tcp and punctuation here are important. Select the endpoint, either unencrypted or encrypted, and further down, see the certificate and credential fields you might need. You'll need a subscription to set scanning parameters, and then a point linked to that subscription. Use the Browse feature on the point to find the tags needed, in this case from the GeoSCADA OPC UA server in GeoSCADA 2023. In 2022, we also added the Spark Plug driver on MQTT. An MQTT broker allows publishers and subscribers to share data. Sparkplug is a data payload designed to carry SCADA signals from nodes and devices through the MQTT broker. Sparkplug payloads let you read signal information and data values, and also lets other data consumers read the same data. Sparkplug configuration requires a special broker item from the Vuex MQTT Spark Plug menu. Set up the broker item to communicate with the broker host and its security. Then there's a group item which is used by Sparkplug to partition sets of Sparkplug source nodes. In this example, I'm using node red as a test data source and setting up a node and a device to match the configuration. Once the first birth message from a device has been seen by GeoSCADA, a menu action is available on the GeoSCADA device, which will create GeoSCADA points automatically. This is going to save you configuration time. This year, we're also including a new MQTT driver for interpreting diverse text-based payloads. Many devices supporting MQTT use a text value in the payload. It might be numeric or string-based. 
or it could be a JSON expression, and GeoSCADA will read the expression to find the point values and timestamps. This driver supports control messages too. It increases the range of MQTT devices and systems which are compatible with GeoSCADA. Now to Schneider Electric device support. Our implementation of the SCADA Pack X70 integration is further strengthened. In GeoSCADA 2022, we added some usability features to Vuex, like quick lists of configuration items. And in GeoSCADA 2023, we now support the SCADA Pack 470i RTU with its embedded Linux coprocessor. The capability of the device integrated with GeoSCADA is going to boost the functionality and power of remote site operations. We've added some more quick configuration features for SCADA Pack 2. For example, you can create all of the protocol points for an RTU with a single action. Choose where to create them and how to structure their names. There's also an option which enables Modbus scanners to be created automatically, which can be simpler than using Remote Connect to define each scanner and their relationship to Modbus points. And we've continued to extend our geographic capabilities, extending the maps to show geographical regions and new symbols with new properties. There's a Virtual Vuex web client upgrade in GeoSCADA 2022 to allow full configuration to be carried out from the browser. With privilege, users can create and edit devices, points, mimic graphics and trends. RealFlow gets upgraded to version 7.10 in 2022 and 7.11 in 2023, adding support for both 20 flow runs and CO2 flow runs. Another update will see support for RealFlow 7.12 soon. The 2023 release offers significantly greater Aviva software integration. First off is a high performance historic data feed to Aviva Pi and Aviva Data Hub. This feature upgrades the Aviva Historia and eDNA interface and allows users to select which points are fed to Pi or Data Hub. We're also bringing a common single sign in system for Aviva products and GeoSCADA. This allows users the option to log in to multiple GeoSCADA databases using a single sign-on inherited from Windows, a one-click action which saves users and administrators time. Also in security, we now support two-factor authentication. Some governmental and standards bodies are now requiring that critical SCADA systems need to have two-factor authentication. Users can log in with their password and a six digit code from their authenticator app. You can use any compatible app and no internet is required. There are also quite a few changes to improve performance, productivity and convenience. There's no time to mention them here, so please check the release notes for more information. Oh, and one more thing. We've revised mouse and touch support for Vuex, allowing zoom with the control key and for the first time, allowing scroll wheel and gestures to scroll any list up and down. There's a lot to discover in our new versions and we're continuing to innovate with new features in future releases. Please keep in touch with our blog, knowledge base and forums. And thank you.